Hello YouTube, just a quick video to uh, introduce myself and my channel. Um, my name is DJ Josh, or Coach Josh, I'll explain that in a little bit. Um, my YouTube channel, Back to DJing. Um, so yeah, the purpose of this channel is basically to follow my journey as a DJ, uh, do equipment reviews and gear talk, um, tips and tricks, helping uh, newer DJs get started, and anything that I basically find entertaining. So a bit about myself, um, my history as a DJ, I started back in the 90s when I worked at a roller rink as a teenager. I was a floor guard, actually at two roller rinks. The first one, I was just the floor guard at the first rink. At the second rink, um, I did become a DJ there. Uh, that's where I learned to mix. Um, had a couple of good friends that kind of helped me get into it. Uh, I learned to beat match on old school CD players like a Denon Mark II or something like that. And vinyl, did some uh, quite a bit on vinyl actually, but not, I'm no turntablist, but yeah, a little bit of, I know how to beat match anyways on vinyl. And I am working on the turntablism, it's, it's a goal, but definitely not one yet. Um, so yeah, I started DJing back in the 90s, like I said, and then about the year 2000, I moved back to my hometown of Golden, BC. I had been living in Calgary, growing up in Calgary. Moved back to Golden, worked at a sawmill, um, had a mobile, kind of a small mobile setup, just did some small local parties and stuff like that, a lot of bedroom DJing. And, uh, and then I started uh, truck driving, did that for about 15 years. So I was in Golden all together for about 19 years, born in Golden, but back in Golden for 19 years. And then I heard that my old roller rink in Calgary was closing down. So I kind of had a bit of a reunion with uh, some old friends that used to skate, and I found out that they still did skate. Needless to say, we were all kind of heartbroken about the rink closing. So yeah, we had a bit of a, a get-together on the final closing weekend, a big skate, lots of people, lots of friends, uh, good times, but sad times. But anyway, that re-sparked my love for roller skating, and I got back into it. I was traveling back and forth to Calgary um, from Golden to do as much skating as I could because uh, since the rink had closed, uh, we started putting on small events at community centers and, and places like that to kind of hold us over and keep the sport alive. So yeah, I was traveling back and forth to do a lot of skating. I got into a skate park on my quad roller skates. That's pretty fun, sliding rails, doing jumps. And then I got my certificate to teach people how to roller skate and roller blade. And that led into a new career for me, teaching kids how to roller blade in schools. So yeah, with that, we have programs and we go into the school, teach them how to be safe, all that kind of stuff. And then a lot of schools would opt for an addition to our package that included a family skate night. And that's basically where we put on music and invite the kids with their parents out to have a nice skate night together with music and lights and that kind of thing. And that was kind of starting to re-spark my passion a little bit for DJing because the lights, I was starting to pick up some lights to make it a little bit extra special for the kids. Then that kind of led me to pick up a used controller and start playing around with the software that's out now and a laptop, obviously. I hadn't DJed on that kind of stuff before. It was all CD and vinyl. So that was pretty new to me. Um, but yeah, I started playing around on a little DDJ RB. And more and more, my uh, passion was getting reignited for DJing. Um, and then my gear addiction as well started to kick in. I started picking up speakers. I'm sorry, I'm looking around here at some of my equipment. But I started to pick up speakers, subs and uh, just gear to start DJing, kind of low key to start, but one thing led to another, and I decided that if I was gonna get into this and take it seriously, I was gonna really just go for it. And I'm not saying that I have a great setup. It's a mediocre starter setup, and I will get into that with you later. I plan on doing a video showing all the gear that I bought to get me started. I'll talk about the things that I kind of regret buying, Maybe I should have waited and got something a little bit better, but hopefully this stuff will get me by for now. Most of it I'm pretty happy with for the most part, but as we know, mics are expensive. Kind of cheaped out there a little bit, <laughs> but it won't be for long. There's things that are top of my list that are going to be upgraded 
as fast as I possibly can. Um, so yeah, I'll talk more about that on a later video. Also coming up will be my first gig log. Uh, that'll probably be, I'll probably keep those two separate videos, I think, unless I decide to kind of go through some of the equipment as I'm loading up. But yeah, a gig log coming, my first gig log. I've watched a lot of YouTube DJs say that uh, they really wish they'd started this YouTube part of their journey from the start. So that's what I'm trying to do. I am not experienced at YouTube videos whatsoever. This is my first one. So this is probably a little rough. Don't mind my uh, green screen behind me. I've been doing a little live streaming. And I'll talk about that as well. Maybe if anybody needs any tips on how to do that, I'll get into that. So yeah, in conclusion, thanks for joining me. Uh, welcome to my channel. Back to DJing. My name is DJ Josh again. For now, I hate picking DJ names. They're... I find most of them are corny. <laughs> so uh, there's some good ones out there. And they're all the ones that I wish I had. <laughs> um, my gamer tag used to be Huck Monkey. I don't really game so much anymore. But I thought about using that for a DJ name. But it sounds a little immature maybe. Let me know what you think in the comments. Should I just go with it? Um, would that be better than DJ Josh? I've also thought about DJ Coach Josh because of my coaching. It would relate to the kids. But that's not very good for weddings. So maybe two DJ names. I don't know. What do you guys do? Let me know in the comments how you solve that dilemma. So yeah, thanks for joining. Like and subscribe if you'd like to follow my journey. If you'd like to learn about my gear, I've got some EV subs I'm going to talk about. Mackie tops, JBL ceremony, and monitor speaker. So yeah, hope to see you soon. Hopefully uh, shortly for my first gig log. And then probably an equipment review shortly after that. Bye for now.